we are going to do some more searches in our program. This time we're going to be searching for specific chapters and verses. Sometimes, you know where the verse is, but you don't know exactly what it says. You want to study it in detail or get an exact quote for somebody. So, this is where you'd use this. And there's a key word called mark. You can capitalize it or just leave it as is and it's mark, as in marking your scriptures. Put a colon after the word. And for the first example here, say 1 Nephi 1. The rules are kind of different when you use the mark keyword. You don't need any quotation marks and you can request a single chapter, a particular verse, or several verses. Let me just diverge here a minute and explain something. You can't see all the text in the first verse. Here's the first chapter of Nephi, but the text is partially hidden. You've got a tool tip, but the tool tip doesn't always display all the text that's in the verse. This tool tip does, but tool tips don't show all the text for very long verses. But some of the verses or paragraphs, like the lectures on faith, or some of the longer sections of the Doctrine and Covenants or Book of Mormon don't fit in the grid unless you do this. You can stretch out the grid, by dragging down on this line. It doesn't work with any column except the first column. But you can drag the line down and get it as wide as you want. There's another way to do this also and it's called grid spacing. I've had mixed results using grid spacing. Sometimes it works really well, sometimes not. You can either use the up or down arrows on the box, or you can put the cursor in the box and just use the up or down arrows on your keyboard to change the spacing for all the cells in the grid. So, we can expand or compress them all whether we need to or not. So that's the first use of the word mark and how to expand the cells so the text will fit. Here's some more search examples. Say you want 1st Nephi 3 and 7. Incidentally, there are no abbreviations in the Book of Mormon. That's the only book that doesn't have abbreviations in this software. If you'll notice our abbreviation chart there are the books of the scriptures in order by book. They go through Genesis, the Old Testament, through the New Testament and then the Book of Mormon in which you will notice the book and verse are the same and the D and C is slightly different also. Okay, so anyway, here's our first Nephi 3 and 7. Oh, what happens? Okay, let me explain to you something. What happens here? You're going to get the whole chapter displayed here in the grid, but when you generate a web page from this, using the action menu, or Alt plus W, it generates a web page from the entire chapter. But since you asked for 1st Nephi 3 and 7, it will mark the verse for you. Let's show some other examples. You can mark a series of verses. For example, verses 7 through 11. I'm just picking numbers at random, do another search. The grid didn't change. But what changes is the web page. Now, you've got verses 7 through 11 that are highlighted. This is helpful if somebody gives you a group of verses. Or you hear a reference in a talk, you can go right to the chapter and then highlight the results. Now, let's show you more of what you can do. Add verses 26 through 28. You can ask for a range of verses and they don't even have to be in order. It'll sort those all out for you. So that's kind of helpful, I think. Okay, there's another one. DNC. If you're searching through the DNC, it is slightly different. You have to make a distinction between, whether you are referring to the book, D and C, or the volume, D-C. You notice there's a difference in the database between Doctrine and Covenants and D and C. Let's take an example here. Clear the search. We want section 121 of the Doctrine and Covenants. I'm going to make mistakes deliberately in order to show you what happens. If you don't put quotes, you're not going to get anything. But if you put this in quotes, because it is an exact phrase and contains spaces, it will work. You are going to get the entire section of D and C 121. Unless you say mark, you won't get any verses marked. You can spell out the series of verses you want, or you can just check them off in the grid. 
For example, just pick verse 3, do a search. Verse 3 is marked. If you do a search and want to filter down your results to DNC, only, use DNC or D-C in the filter. Suppose we search for everlasting covenant. You need to put some quotes around it because you want the exact phrase. We've got a lot of results to sift through. But, if you want to filter this, down to just the DNC, you can go down here to the filter and say DNC. And you'll just get all the references to Everlasting Covenant mentioned in the DNC. Most of them are in section 132. Suppose you don't like section 132 and want to eliminate these verses. Okay. Here we go, DNC and not 132. In the filter box, it's not talking to the database. The filter talks to the local program, and the local program has a few different rules than the database. You have to explicitly specify AND. So here we get all the verses except section 132. Let's say we don't want section 131, either. We can add a NOT 131, and so narrow it down even more. These other verses are still part of the original query. But the program says it found 35 items, 9 items showing, 26 items hidden. If you want to switch and reveal all the items, you can select unhide all and see everything. If you want to hide them again, you can always close the filter button and they'll be hidden again. These examples are in the help file, which you can access just by pressing F1. This is where we are. Down where it says reference searching in the DNC. Slightly different. Scroll down a little bit further. Here's an example of the DNC search. Okay. Four different ways to get the same results. You can say Elias in the search and D-C in the filter. Or you can say Elias for the search and D-Ampersand C in the filter. Or you can put them all in the search box. These are different ways of getting a result. The only right way is the way that gets results. Okay, now we're going to talk about the lectures on faith, which are arranged differently because the lectures don't have regularly numbered chapters and verses. So, let's clear all this stuff out. And there's a key word called lecture. Put a colon and a space after lecture. If you want to get the entire lectures on faith, you can get that. You say lecture colon space all. If you want lecture fifth, you ask for lecture, fifth. You'll notice that right off the bat, a lot of the text is hidden. But you can widen the rows and the columns to see more of the verse or paragraph. If you want to see just the preface, request lecture, preface. I didn't include the preface for any of the other books because we don't usually search those, much less read them. But the preface to the lectures on faith is important because it explains how the book came about. I don't know of anybody who ever references the lectures by chapter and verse, but if you do a search for something like the word faith, the word faith will come up wherever it's found, including the Bible, Book of Mormon, D&C, Pearl of Great Price, and the lectures on faith. So that's where it would be useful. Like we saw that, where we did a search on John and it came up with a lecture because it quoted the Book of John. Okay, we've covered the lectures on faith and we're just going right through this help file. Now, we're going to talk about finding people. If you just want to do a search for Nephi, you're going to get every person named Nephi in 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th Nephi for every verse and every time the name Nephi is mentioned. So, what you can do, there's a keyword called person, followed by a colon and a space. If you just clear the search and search for N. E. P. H I and we are going to get 2,500 references, every time the name Nephi is mentioned. But if we request person, we'll cut it down to 435 times. There's a lot of people named Nephi in the Book of Mormon. You're still going to get those. You can do this, you could try filtering it down to say only the books of 1st or 2nd Nephi. I just did a search on Nephi filtered down to 1st Nephi and 2nd Nephi and I got 388 items shown and 45 items hidden. To prove this works, just unhide all and try the filter again. Without the filter they all come back. 
Here's something else you can do. If you want to see where Nephi or Sam is mentioned, you see 436 items. If you say you want to see Nephi and Sam because sometimes Nephi mentions himself and Sam together, change the search from or to end. There are seven times where he mentions his brother together with him. Now let me see if I just say person, Sam, how many times does that come up? Okay. Ten times. Sam is mentioned ten times in the Book of Mormon. So, this is how you search for people in the Book of Mormon, or in any of the scriptures for that matter. Now, as I said, Nephi is very difficult because it's hard to narrow it down to which Nephi you're talking about because when you have a father and son named Nephi and they're both mentioned, I think, in the book of Helaman and the book of 3rd Nephi. So, which one do you want? It's difficult to narrow that down. I don't know any way to do that right now, but if I do figure out a way to do that, I will tell you and add the feature to the software. If there are any ideas, I would be happy to consider them.